I was a 19 year old kid and I was miserable. I was in love with my high school sweetheart. We were that couple that was really annoying. So we went to school together. We signed up for classes together. We shared a U-Haul on the way to school together. We lived in the same dorm together. We walked to class. We walked to breakfast in the morning and walked to class. I mean, we were just joined at the hip and we were completely crazy infatuated in love. And then halfway through the first year of college, she discovered beer and other boys on the same night <laughs> and she cheated. I completely fell apart. I stopped going to class. I barely ate anything, certainly nothing healthy. I stopped studying. I just stopped caring about the world. Literally couldn't get out of bed. And I never thought about it until years later, I, uh, reading changed my life because I was still reading. It was one thing that's brought me through everything. And I happened to pick up the school newspaper and I opened it up and there was this full page ad. It was this perfect white sandy beach, turquoise water, big green palm tree. And across the top of the ad, it said, escape. <laughs> Students needed for summertime jobs in the Dominican Republic. So I escaped, I went down there. And one night my friend Kevin and I, we hopped into a car after uh, dropping off a client. So we're going down this road, 85 miles an hour in this car and the windows were open and that air was coming in. That amazing humid, if you've been in the Caribbean, that just gorgeous, amazing humid air is coming in. And then we came upon a corner. We take that corner 85 miles an hour and that corner became the turning point that put my feet on the stage for you today. Kevin grabs the wheel, he goes, hold on, and I brace. And the car starts sliding sideways and that weird slow motion thing happens. Kevin's gripping the wheel, trying to make the corner and all of a sudden smack. When I came to, I looked over and Kevin is screaming at the top of his lungs, get out of the car, Brendan, get out of the car. And I look over and a whole big chunk of his head is open. So I pull myself out of the windshield of this car and he's screaming over here. And I stand up eventually on the hood of the car and I look and I notice all this blood on me. And I remember just looking down and that slow motion things happening. I just thought, Did I even matter? And I start seeing all these images of my life when I'm surrounded by people that I care for. There's a cake in front of me. Here's my friends singing, my mom leading them in that goofy song. There's my sister just swinging and smiling right next to me. And it makes you wonder, did I love? Did I love openly and honestly and completely? Or did I hold back because that one time I got hurt? And just as I was about to pass out, I noticed a, a glint, like a, a sparkle, something shiny, a reflection in the blood going off the hood of the car and it made me look up. And there was this bright, big, beautiful moon that night. And I just immediately felt this connection if like I knew I was going to be okay. And I felt like the big guy upstairs reached down to me and handed me life's golden ticket. He reached down and said, here you go, kid. You're still alive. You can still love and matter. But now, you know, the clock is ticking. Mortality motivation. I got it as a 19 year old kid. People say, why are you so successful? I'm like, I got mortality motivation when I was 19. That's a blessing. Most people don't get that till they're 60. Don't worry. Kevin and I, we both survived. See, I'm still here. <laughs> it's okay. I made it. But the one thing that I took away from that entire thing was that moment and those questions, because I remembered them and I thought about them as I was healing. I was like, what was that about? Why did I feel so unhappy with that moment because I thought, you know, in the last moments of life, there must be this transcendence and I was not happy. And I realized it was because of how I'd been living my life and I wasn't living to my questions. I knew I got those questions. Did I live? Did I love? Did I matter? And as soon as I got that, those were the questions I'm going to evaluate myself with at the end of the life. It gave me the power of what my late mentor Wayne Dyer taught, the power of intention. That breath you just took, feel it. What a blessing that is, you got that life. 
what a blessing is you got that breath. That means you still got something inside. You got to work for it. You got to contribute for it. You got to give for it. You got to lead for it. You got to love for it because you still have something not just in you, you're still here for a reason. And now you just got to earn that blessing.